Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I, I've just been feeling all day long this burning that I needed to come on live and pray for people. Pray for so many that are just feeling like they're in this tension right now between this place of this incredible birthing, this incredible manifestation that God is wanting to bring and reveal through them and also the tension of the current climate, the current world we live in, and so many endless distractions that are just constantly uh, appearing in front of us. Hey, Pia, I hope you guys are our grow family. Good to see you guys as well. I went on uh, live in our grow group earlier and I was just sharing this word about distraction and contractions. You may have seen the update I did earlier. Hey, Joanne, good to see you. It's been a while since I've been on here, right? It's been a while. It's been a while. Um, and I just felt so stirred. I'm not going to share this whole word. You guys saw the little brief snippet on my Facebook page or my Instagram. But I want to pray for people because I believe this is something that, that God is really, he's really speaking into right now. Like if we're wanting to know like what God is doing, we, we need to be, we need to be like not distracted. We need to be in a place where we can hear him, right? We need to be in that place. I'm always thinking about the story of Mary and how Jesus said to Martha, who was running around and going crazy all over the place, and and she was getting mad, like, come on, come on, Jesus, Mary should have helped me, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And he said, No, she did what was needed, she did what was needful, and it was just sitting at Jesus' feet. And I believe we're in a season or a time right now that that God is wanting us to to be um, very aware and discerning of the the endless distractions facebook can be a distraction you you guys know i'm not i'm not i have to tell you stuff instagram is a distraction hey daniel good to see you my friend miss you man kelly good to see you as well um you know we're in a time that, that i feel like holy spirit is really speaking to us and saying you know it's this kind of come away with me kind of a thing i just want to read um just one passage to you guys I bet you it's a chapter you've never heard in your whole entire life no it's romans 8 i was quickly i didn't have it ready for you guys but Romans 8 it's amazing because it speaks into both of these two tensions right now so Romans 8 says this there is no oh, I won't get into that bit I just want to get down to this bit here speaks about those who are led by the spirit of God they're the sons of God so this is exactly what I'm trying to say here with this but this is what it says for if you if you live according to the flesh you will die but if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body you will live for as many as led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom you cry out, Abba, Father. And then it goes on to talk about, so that's the one tension. That's where we're, we're distracted by the fear of the enemy. We're distracted by the hysteria that is out there, the things going on in the atmosphere. It's where we're drawn into the distractions and the, the constant barrage of endless chaos and situations and circumstances that meet us on a daily basis when we wake up that wants to get our eyes off Jesus and what he's doing. Why is the enemy doing that? Why is he, why is he playing the oldest gameplay that he's ever played? I'll tell you why. It's because he doesn't want you birthing. He doesn't want you seeing, this is, this is both macro and micro, he doesn't want you to birth and he doesn't want the body of Christ to birth. But what does Romans 8 say about the body of Christ? I want to read it to you, okay? For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. For creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it to hope, because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Wow! For we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth pangs together until now. I don't want to get any further into that, but what's happening here? This is speaking about the birthing of the church, the body of Christ, the sons and daughters of God that are led by the Spirit, okay? So on one hand, you see this whole paradigm where people aren't led by the spirit and they're led by fear and they're, they're, they're constantly being led by the next narrative that's going to be on the news, the next thing that's going to be out there every single day. And then you see a people that don't live by that. They don't live by that narrative. They don't live. We need in this season 
to be led by the Spirit. We need in this season to move away from all that stuff that we've been following. And we need to be people that are led by the Spirit. I want to pray for you today. But before I do, I just want to kind of share a few things with this. You know, Jesus, Jesus in, in, in Luke, it's also in the book of Matthew, but in Luke 4, it says that he was, actually it was at the end of Luke 3, I think it was, but Jesus was baptized by John the baptizer. And then we know the story of the dove coming down. We, we know the whole thing where, where the father said, this is my son whom I love and I'm well pleased. This is like this mountaintop moment. And then another mountaintop moment later in Luke 4, where Jesus left the wilderness endued with power. But in between those two places, he was in a wilderness season. He was in a time tempted by the enemy. And there was, there was something that preceded him being endued with power. And it was him walking through a distraction. Him walking through. And, and I believe that right now, the enemy has not got any new plays. He plays the same game every single time. What is the gameplay and what does he do it for? The gameplay is distraction and it's because he does not want you being led by the Spirit to birth. He does not want you being led by the Spirit. He does not want you birthing. He wants your promises to stay promises sitting on the shelf. He wants the books that, you have, that, that God has placed inside of you sitting on the shelf. He doesn't want those songs written. He doesn't want to see that movement created. He doesn't want to see you walking in the Spirit. He just does not want to see you walking in victory and in power. And He does everything that He can to try to stop you from birthing the promise. And that's why the whole, the whole thing about the dogs of doom stand at the door of destiny. The enemy does anything he can to prevent birth. He does anything he can to prevent that. But I believe that right now God is saying there's a very simple strategy to the church. And that is that we need to be a people that are not, that we're not caught up in the smoke and mirrors. We're not caught up in the warfare of who's right and who's wrong. We're not caught up in the narrative of the things going around on the news. But we're a people that sit at his feet and hear what he has to say. And I believe in this moment, God is even just setting people free of anxiety and the fear that's just become almost like a normal day. Who, who, can I ask on here? Who's felt like they, who wakes up every single morning with crippling anxiety? I felt like this was for you today. This was crazy. I just, I just knew I needed to come on. Who are the people who wake up every morning with crippling anxiety and go to bed with crippling anxiety? Crippling anxiety. Like it's a fear that you feel like, it, it's almost like, it's a fear, wow, it's connected to so many things, but I see like fear of the future, feeling like you are out of control. You don't have any control of what's going to happen to you. The circumstances and the things in life and in the world are just so crowding around you. You feel like it's difficult to be able to, yeah, I'm just, I want to pray for that right now. I want to pray for what I saw before coming on the live that I needed to pray and release was like, I saw like a clarity coming over you, the, the airwaves of your home. I just saw like the atmosphere of your home just clearing up. Can you imagine sitting at Jesus' feet? Can you imagine that home having fear in it? It wouldn't. I just feel like today that you, you need to encounter the presence and the glory. You encounter just the Spirit of God in a fresh way. It's just going to break and cut through all of the stuff that's coming. Yeah, so a lot of people have been having that. We, you want to see, we're going to see some healing. So this is going to be, this is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to see some breakthrough, deliverance, Holy Ghost doing His thing. So let's just pray right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I know you led me to do this today because you just want to see your people free. You want to see people free. You don't want them being led by fear. For, Lord, I ask right now, <laughs> freedom be released over these airwaves to every home, every person watching right now in their families and every single person that's going to replay, re-watch this. Lord, I ask just for peace to come, to break and crash through into their home right now in the name of Jesus. Every single person that has been tormented by anxiety and fear in the season. Those who've been the narrative, the worldly narrative, the demonic narrative has been screaming at them. I command it right now to be silenced in Jesus' mighty name. I speak peace and clarity over your minds now. I speak peace and clarity over your minds right now in the name show right now just someone just saw I just literally saw like oil 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 just flowing oil flowing over heads oil someone there's a lady you just getting like radically and I know it sounds 
bit of a strange word to say, but delivered. It's like, it's like there's been a tormenting voice oppressing you. And right now you just got delivered. Like literally physically, you felt like a manifestation of something lifting off you. Yeah, yeah, Holy Spirit, I thank you right now. We just thank you for the fire of God being released, the fire and the oil being released right now. I feel like there is just justice being done over homes that have been unjustified, where the enemy has been tormenting and just coming at people. I just see, even just see where there's been witchcraft and words coming to try to break down, to bring confusion, to try to bring atmospheres of chaos. It's, it's stopping productivity. It's stopping creativity. It's been stopping you dead in your tracks when God wants you to birth. What he wants you to release. I feel like it's almost like there's been stops that have been placed because you don't believe that God would want you to birth this thing in this season. I break survival off you now in the name of Jesus. I break survival off you now in the name of Jesus. Shora bato shaka. Yandara dala. Do sandala ki. Brasa do lo brodonda baka. Whoo, shora bata shake. Bandala ma shamboso. And there's a man on here. Um, and I saw you and uh, I see just the conflict with your faith that you're having right now in this season, like major conflict and that's okay. And it was really interesting because I felt like a wave of the love of the father of you. Like I just felt like, oh man, like he's so, like I, I imagine if I was in the room with you, I just want to give you a hug. And I, I just saw like, uh, like, like God doesn't judge you for thinking that way. It's just like the enemy has been so warring at your mind and there's been conflict over what you believe. And I just feel like the Lord is, yeah, he's just going to, he's going to show himself and prove himself to you even in this season. Um, Paul, is there a Paul here? Paul, Paul, I, I just, I thank you, Father, for the, um, the Lord is reacquainting himself with you, Paul reacquainting himself with you in Jesus mighty name. I thank you, Father, for the healing of illnesses and affliction. Thank you, Father, for freedom over minds and over bodies right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, you want to heal because that's who you are, it's your nature. So Lord, I thank you for breakthrough over healing in, uh, in bodies and in minds in Jesus mighty name. I thank you for clarity coming. I thank you, Father, for the restoration of sleep the restoration of nights and sleep and dreams again. And I just pray for the reignition of creativity to flow again. For the writers just right now, just put your hands out. For the songwriters, for the creators, that's probably so many of you. If you feel to do this as well, just put your hands out. Yeah, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for the, the reignition of creativity where there's been blockages from the birthing of this thing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I just pray even of your kids. Like this, your, your peace will be sleep. Mark, uh, Psalms 4 verse 8. In peace you lie down and sleep. For you, O Lord, make us dwell in safety and in confident trust. Lord, I thank you for redeeming what was lost in this season for those who've been feeling just so bombarded. Uh, Lord, I thank you right now. Yeah, you, so many of you, I just feel like the, this, this hunger, I need peace. I need peace. Can you just do this right now? I feel like this is what you need to do of yourself. You can say it in English or I say it in, in I do it in both. I also do it in, in, uh, in Hebrew, but just say, um, peace of God, fill my home. Shalom of God, fill my home. Shalom, shalom of God, fill my home. Some of you are gonna break out in laughter because you're gonna feel that peace. It's like the moment of, of like walking out of the wilderness and feeling feeling like the, you know, your first drop of, 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 of water on your lips. It's like, shut up the peace of God, peace of God, peace of God, peace of God. I pray for discernment and wisdom over you in this hour, that you wouldn't be led astray by so many things that want to pull you left and right, but that your ministry as a priest unto the Lord will be your number one thing. That you sit at his feet. He's just looking for those who just in this hour not be distracted or pulled to the left or the right. But they'll be the ones who just be like, it says in the book, you know, where it says, raise me up a faithful priest. Raise me up a faithful priest. God's calling the Samuels. You watch in this hour, there's visitation that comes to you. We hear the voice of the Lord calling you like in the days of old. You're going to feel his voice. There's a rekindling. There's a full circle thing he's doing in this hour. And he's removing the distractions and he's just clearing the overheads of your life. 
That wave of healing is just crashing over you in this hour, bringing you back to the beginning, bringing you back to a place of freedom and joy that you haven't felt in such a long time. So Lord, I release that over families now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And before I go, you know, I'm just, this is a season that God really does want to manifest his dreams and blueprints through people through the body of Christ. It's um, been a desire of mine to see the church actually birth, not just be people of talk. Paul said that. I, I don't come to persuade you with wise words, but as a demonstration of the power of God. And the way I see the prophetic is that God wants us to actually see the things that he gives us manifested. He wants us to actually see the words he gives us, bring healing to people. He wants us, you know, the words that he may give us for government or for, the, for, for education or whatever actually hit the mark. I believe in this hour he wants... He, he doesn't just want, you know, prophets rising. He wants prophets that are architects, that are builders rising up. And so we're just, we're excited this year. We're, we've got such a huge focus on the practical side of prophecy. And we're raising up people that actually walk out the blueprints of their life. And we're helping them establish their steps, helping them birth the things that, that God's given them to birth. And so I just wanted to let you guys know that in a month's time, we're, we're um, doing our second season of our grow commissioning path, prophetic architects. We just want to help people actually establish the infrastructure to build what God has given them. But I just pray over you that this would be a year that you would actually get those blueprints. You'd get them the dreams that God's given you. You'd, maybe you need to pick them up off the shelf again. Maybe it's just been a long time since you've actually gone, this is a reality for me because it's been such a time of them being warred at. The enemy is warred against your dreams and your blueprints for so, so long. It almost feels like, um, I, I know this is so true for so many people, but some people have said to me, well, I feel like God leads me on. I feel like he leads me on. He gives me so much. He gives me so many dreams, and I, but I, I don't see it manifesting. The enemy is not afraid of you hearing from the Lord. He's afraid of you stewarding the word of the Lord and bringing it into your life. He's afraid of that word God gives you becoming a reality in the world around us that needs the word of the Lord. Okay. Yet again, he's afraid of the birthing. He's not afraid of, he's not afraid of you getting all, you know, all the stuff that God wants to give you. He's afraid of you walking it out. Okay. So I just want to say this one last time. Do not be led by distraction be people that have your pulse on what God's doing in heaven. Be a people led by the contractions of the Spirit. Being led by the, being led by the, the groanings of the Spirit. Because this is a time that God is raising up a people that would release heaven. I feel like we're in almost like this, this time where, where we're going to see this the speeding up of the manifestation. We've been in a time of such delay. We've been in a time of there's been so much that's been held up. And I believe we're in a time that we're about to see, we're going to look back and go, man, do you remember those hope deferred days? Yeah, yeah. But, but now we're seeing such an overload. We're seeing such an overload of promise. Can I just read this one scripture for you? And I feel like this is a declaration over the body of Christ right now. I just want to read to you from, from Isaiah. Oh my gosh, my, one of my favorite books of the Bible. I want to read this to you because this is what I believe is how we've seen the distraction. We've seen all the things that have come against people's God. But this is what he's saying. Sing, O barren. Sing, O barren, you who have not born. Break forth into singing and cry aloud. For you have not labored with a child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married woman, says the Lord. And he goes on to say, enlarge the place of your tent. We're about to see the body of Christ birth and see more children, more fruit, more promise because of all the years that our promise and the birthing has actually been in contention. So just get ready for that, guys. Like I'm, I'm just one of those crazy stubborn people that when I see so much backlog in the spirit and people start to give up and they start to wave their white flags and run, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a second. This is our moment. This is, this is our moment, you know? We're at to see this. I, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave the show just yet. Like this is the part where it gets good, you know. And we met, we're all struggling. We've got the tension thing going on. But this is not a moment to run away. This is a moment to see the greatest part of the play. All right. So I just want to encourage you guys. Hang in there. Get ready for what God's going to do. Adjust your eyes. Adjust your senses. 
get in the secret place and just be people that are led by the spirit. Don't be led by the narrative of the, of the news and all the junk going on out there because I'm telling you something. You don't need to put your head in the sand and ignore what's going on in the world, but you are not tethered to it as if it is the reality or you know it is not the greater truth. So it's time for us to be a people that are led by the Spirit of God. Love you guys. Have an amazing day. By the way, the link for that is myyeartogrow.com. See you guys there. Have an amazing day. Bye.